and it's a representation of the sisterhood and the bond between the city of Las Cruces and Lerdo. For three decades and counting, Las Cruces and Ciudad Lerdo have shown their respective countries the meaning of friendship. At a recent Las Cruces City Council meeting, officials from Lerdo and its sister cities committee signed an international agreement renewing, quote, understanding, friendship, and peace between the two cities and two nations. Sister Cities International traces its roots back to 1956. During a Cold War era summit on citizen diplomacy, President Dwight Eisenhower created the People to People program. I'm emboldened to talk because the purpose of this meeting is the most worthwhile purpose there is in the world today, to help build the road to peace. Eisenhower, who served in both world wars, saw it as a way to promote peace and strengthen relationships abroad through educational, cultural, and humanitarian activities. That's led to exchange opportunities such as trainings by Las Cruces police officers and firefighters, performances by Lerdo artists, and learning English and Spanish in each other's homelands. Lerdo Mayor Maria Luisa Gonzalez Hm says she hopes to introduce some of the programs she learned that Las Cruces offers back home. They are going to try to copy some of the models and implement it in Lerdo. So that is what is, you know, she's taking with her. She is especially excited about the senior programs about sustainability and it's more specifically about the solar panels. She thinks that is something that they can implement over there. Muy buenas tardes. Las Cruces Sister Cities Chair Hale Huber has been involved with the program for 25 years. Huber, who also started a committee in the mid-90s with Nienberg, Germany, says exchanges with other countries can benefit cities that share similar demographics. It is positive to have a sister city relationship with a city of about the same size as your city, like Las Cruces, about 100,000 people, with a similar type economy, with agriculture and, and with a river that flows part of the year and, uh, and other similar aspects. And they also grow a lot of pecans and they grow chili and they grow, so there's a lot of similarities. While Sister Cities is a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization, the political timing of the signing isn't lost on either city's delegates. Huber says the exchange was first scheduled for April. That month, President Trump threatened to shut down the border to reduce crossings by Central American migrants seeking asylum. Huber says that forced the cities to postpone the trip. The fear was if the mayor and the city council from Lerdo was in Las Cruces and President Trump closed the border, they could be stuck for an undetermined amount of time here in Las Cruces or on this side of the border. And so with this fear caused by President Trump, um, Jose and I agreed to cancel the, the exchange that was all arranged, ready to go in April. Mayor Gonzalez H.M. says the delegation has to respect Trump's policies on immigration, from remain in Mexico to the recently introduced third country rule. That states if migrants seeking asylum enter a third country on their way to the U.S., they must first apply for refugee status in that country. As a delegation, they have to be respectful of any president and the policies that they are implementing, and that she's fully aware that you know it's also up to them to do programs and create jobs in their own countries to prevent migration and to make sure that the citizens who are coming, right, that they have opportunities in their own countries to grow and prosper but they have to respect uh, what the U.S. government is doing. My expectation for this visit is... Dr. Jose Frias is Lerdo Sister City's president, but got his start on the board in Las Cruces. Frias says he's seen the sisterhood grow during his time working with different mayors and councils. But in that time, political tensions between their respective countries have also grown. I understand that many people is, is not happy uh, knowing that uh, what the president wants to do with the border, but uh, but uh, be beside that, and in fact, this visit has shown that we, there's no walls, there's no nothing to avoid people from different countries and different cities to get together and be really friends. The visit featured speeches from both delegations, along with the presentation of a sister city's plaque and a tour downtown. Huber says the program is one way for the U.S. to boost relations with Mexico and other countries. Regardless, the enduring bond between Lerdo and Las Cruces is solid enough, he says, to withstand the actions of President Trump. I mean, it's like we look beyond Trump. We look beyond the insanity that we're dealing with now 
to the future without Trump, where the relationships between our country, Mexico, and other countries can be normalized and, and the borders can uh, be such that it allows for um, exchange and communication and interchange between us and other countries. And if the past 30 years are any indication, fellowship is a valuable ambassador. Arriba las cruces, arriba Durango. For KRWG Public Media, I'm Michael Hernandez.